all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel sport 7 gh this is another beautiful day the lord has made let us be glad and rejoice in it yes um, i've not been updating you guys for some days now because i was away doing one or two things and i'm back now um with my cherished viewers all around and across the globe thank you very much for staying with us once again in this video we are going to talk to you about the black stars of ghana fifa ready to build academies in ghana and other african countries uh, we are going to bring you the details the the benefits that's going to have for the senior national team the ghana black stars and for ghana football in total in fact for ghana football will be the benefits for us and then also we'll bring you some details um about all of those issues in this video we will talk about thomas Pate. it's been a very long time you heard from him that he's playing what is the latest news on thomas Pate? ernest nyama is also doing very very well in the french league ah uh, and some other stories the black stars of ghana very bad news for the black stars um we are going to share our views and thoughts comments opinions in all of that do all to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much do all to always go by the principles of god in this year 2024 we are still going through the year this is the february um 17th 2024 yes god is taking us through we hope that he will, he will um, help us to see the end of the year thank you very much for staying with us now as in winger a uh, former arsenal football club manager is currently working with fifa yes the federation of football and um he's doing very very well as one of the directors and um, technical directors and so forth for fifa and he's speaking and he has said that um after watching the afghan final live um as in winger believes outstanding pitch quality better organization and better preparation of small teams contributed to best afghan ever says fifa will establish 75 football academies worldwide including um in ivory coast that is Cote d'ivoire cameroon zambia and ghana by the year 2026 so um as winga who is part of fifa currently is saying that fifa is uh, ready to establish about 75 academies in these african countries we've mentioned ivory coast and um, cameroon zambia and then ghana i don't know why and how they chose those countries there but um that is the the news that's coming in now ghana building fifa building academies in ghana will go in the long run to help ghana football and then also the world football because you see one of the best and efficient academies in ghana currently is the right to dream academy it has produced a lot of quality players. Mohamed Kudus, Kamal Din Suleimana, um, Ernest Nyama, Simeon Adingra of Ivory Coast, and on and on on. Ivad, Ibrahim Osman, and a whole lot of players. They are located in Ghana, right to dream. So if FIFA themselves are also going to build academies in Ghana, and there's 75 academies in these four or five countries. So it tells you that at least Ghana, we can get more than two of those academies, or we can get like two or three academies different academies okay or yes in, in ghana here and that will go a long run to help ghana we, we all know that we have a chunk of um quality players and a chunk of talented players on the african ghanaian soil it is it is a it's a known fact that ghana we have quality um in every corner whether it's accra whether it's kumasi whether it's tamale whether it's all the northern regions the southern parts of ghana wherever you are talking about we have um, quality players there and these academies coming to ghana i i i suspect that one will go to of course accra and then one will come to kumase and possibly maybe on in the north um there too there will be one of them so fifa come come and um, build those academies in ghana ghana there yeah, we have a lot of talented players and i'm sure fifa as a as a, as a, a federation you are going to enjoy from that and ghana as a country will also enjoy from this one also now as in Wenga, whilst preparing for the game versus Burnley um, this weekend, in fact, they are playing today, the 17th of February, 3 p.m. Um, Arsenal will take on Burnley in the English Premier League. He gave update on Thomas Partey, the fantastic Blasters player, and he says that Thomas Partey will return to action in the next few weeks. 
there is no big setbacks thomas Partey is progressing really well and it looks very good and he's on the field already so that's a good news for thomas Partey. you know that he actually got fed and was trying to come back to full fitness and play for arsenal but then he there was a setback and he couldn't yes be fit in time and so he, he had to start recovery again and then Mikel Ateta is giving the latest update that Thomas Partey is very fit and uh, it's not very fit but then he's he's getting very um, fit in time and he's looking very good he's already on the field training with the Arsenal team and um, everybody um, at Arsenal hopes that Thomas Partey will come back to full fitness as soon as possible and that's a very very good news for the black stars and arsenal um fc midfielder thomas party if arsenal should get thomas party they can rise and then Jorginho in the heart of the midfield i am sure that they are going to do very well and they are going to cause a lot of problems for so many teams um, um over there so let's see how things go in that particular one now Ghana blasters here when we talk that oh blasters should do what Blasters will do this. Blasters will do. You guys will be talking. Be saying that oh, we don't love the team. Oh, we that we are saying they should go and do what we don't love the team. You that whenever they are, they are even not, they are not even not doing what you are saying that oh yes, Amaza. That one you you love the team. You love the team. Right now, no the FIFA ranking. I'm sure you've heard that Ghana. We've gone to the 67th rank. We are ranked 67 from 60. First to 67th because in our last competitions, our last competitive competitions, we've only beaten South uh, uh, Korea. Person, we've only won against South Korea. And you see the FIFA ranking, it's the same way. If you are winning the games, you get a lot of points, but if you're able to beat teams that are even higher ranked than you, then you get more points. And if teams lower rank than you are able to beat you, you you point your points are de points are deducted from you. You you lose points. So that's the situation of Ghana right now. We cannot beat any team. Comoros is beating us in the FIFA World Cup qualifiers. They beat us at their own backyard. So if Comoros are beat you, they are beating you. That means that you know you you cannot do anything. The rank you have to come down. That's why we are on the 67th rank. Yeah, instead of us to make the right decisions um, so that everything will go on well with us and you see if you are ranked lower there are disadvantages though now in africa we are the 14th ranked we are ranked 14th so we are not part, part of the top 10 or top 12 teams in africa we are not part of them now south uh, africa they've overtaken us because they did war at the afcon dr congo they've overtaken us they did war cape Verde have overtaken us they did war they are ranked 60 feet in the world cape Verde, and they are ranked 13th in africa ghana is ranked 14th so cape Verde overtake us um dr congo burkina faso yes south africa yes they've all overtaken us mali is ranked eighth and they are ranked 47th in the world we will play mali in the fifa world cup qualifiers in june and we really have to do well morocco is still first in africa senegal is second in africa nigeria they've climbed to the third position in africa and 28th in the world that is remarkable because they won a lot of games they reached the finals of the afcon and that is reflecting here egypt is now fourth and they are 36th in the world ivory coast is now um, fit in Africa and 39th in the world because they won the Afcon. <laughs> they've, they've risen to the fifth position. So Ghana, right now we are not seeing that team in Africa again. We are going to play the um, the CAF qualifiers for the Afcon 2025. Ghana will not be part of the seeded teams, so we we can meet any of the top 12 teams. In fact, we can meet DR Congo, Nigeria, Senegal, Morocco, Ivory Coast, Algeria, Mali. Cameroon, South Africa, we can meet any of them. Top. <laughs> when we are playing the um, the qualifiers for the African Cup of Nations 2025. So right now we are not a team. We are not. Confirmation has come through the FIFA ranking. Don't come and say this is just ranking then things then things. Massa, Ghana, we have to set up and start making things the right decisions. This is a bad record for Keto Kreku. In fact, this is the worst we've we've reached since 2005. Since 2005, this is the worst ranked Black Stars team. And that is under Keto Kreku. Under your administration, Keto Kreku, this is a very bad one for you. And you know this. You know this. What, what are we doing to ourselves? Since 2005, we are in 2024. About 25 years or so, about 20 years. 
okay close to 20 years this is the our uh, worst ranked team worst right now you cannot get competitive friendly games to play the big nations you know it argentina then things if they want to play um, a friendly game and they will not come and call ghana you are around 14 for you they will not call you if usa and those teams wants to play friendly they will not call you ghana again because you are ranked lower that's those are some of the disadvantages of ranking lower we tell you guys you don't listen let's make the blasters work you don't listen thank you very much for staying with us in fact Enes Niyama yesterday, he had an assist for Lyon in their 1-0 win um, in the French League. Uh, and Enes Niyama is doing very, very well in the French League uh, this season. The forward gets his second assist of the campaign after creating six big chances this season. The second most for Lyon in League 1. So Lyon, they start their renaissance. You know that they were in the bottom of the French League uh, for the first half of the season. And right now, they've turned things around. As they won 1-0 against Nice um, in the French League, uh, and they are they are now out, 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 out of the bottom um, three over there. Thank you very much for staying with us. Do what to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Bye bye.